Hey planner babes, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. If you wanna follow me, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok using at PlannerGoAmy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me. Let's get into the video. Hey planner babes, welcome back to another plan with me here on my YouTube channel. And for today's plan with me, we're gonna be planning in my faith planner, which I think was the first one I did uh, in the new year on YouTube. Let me double check the spread. I'm pretty sure, did I? I think I did the first. Yeah, I think I did it on YouTube, the first one. The first spread was kind of so-so. Um, this spread, which I will show you on um, my Instagram in better detail. Loved how this one turned out. Um, and so I decided that I remembered this sticker book that I had. So I have a lot of sticker books. Um, and I know I have them, but I for but sometimes I forget. You know, you don't remember all of them at once. And then I was remembering that I had this one too that I bought at the same time as this one that I used. And I've used this quite a few times, but it's mini. And I feel like a um, mini... Um, I think mini sticker books can work well in dashboard uh, layout or if you have from different planner companies um, layouts that sort of have like small that are more divided into sections because you can't put like giant, you can't put giant stickers if you're not going to use a section but if you intend to use every section to its fullest, mini sticker books are great. Sorry, I'm so thirsty today. So um, I'm going to do a vacation one even though we are not traveling. But I figured, why not do that? See, it has a lot of small stickers, which I think will be great. So let's do this. Sorry, my brain, well, I was just reading the stickers. <laughs> I paused for a second, it was silent. Um, okay, so let's get into it. And let me. I might. Do I need to sneeze? I'm actually gonna pull my. Because I know there's some stickers I might want. But I just don't know where exactly I wanna place them yet. Okay, so. Actually, I may also pull out the pages from the planner. I feel like I am not sitting properly. <laughs> not sitting in the center. Okay, so I thought I would give you guys some life updates. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit today about a fun life update. So if you don't know me, I've shared this a bit on um, Instagram, but I don't like talk a lot about myself on Instagram. Um, just so, like I forget that's the thing that I should do, just like introduce myself more. Um, and also just because like it's more like planning and stuff that I do on there. So I tend to focus more on that than like anything else. But, okay. So some things about me, I uh, work at Michael's, if you didn't know that. I've been working there for um, three let me think how long. I've been working there for three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. I'm gonna pull a couple of these. And um, in my first year working there, like I'd been there just over a year, um, there was like a manager position that had opened up and I had applied. Like I wasn't going to because I'd only been there a year. So like I totally like um, was not going to, but my mom said I should apply. And then a colleague I was working with, the one who's actually leaving, was like, they like you, you should apply. And I was like, still, as I'm like, whatever. Um, I was like, I'll apply. So I applied. Um, and I obviously did not end up getting it. Um, which is perfectly fine. Other than, um, yes, I cried a little. <laughs> which was so weird. Um, considering I wasn't even sure that I wanted it in the first place. Um, but yeah, so then, um, I want to say a few months before I'd been there two years, um, I as well, um, another manager position open, I applied, didn't get it, oh well, um, 
and then um in the same year another <laughs> manager position opened i applied and i didn't get it and i was like i was bummed basically every time um but you know in some ways um there's only so much you can do, you know? Um, you know, so, but, and then, this year, this year, I say this year, because I can't believe we're already in 2024. 2023, um, in the fall of that year, the position opened up again. I applied again. I did not get it again. Um, and so I did a lot of praying, um, definitely the fourth time I did a lot of praying to God, and I was like, if you want this for me, then I pray that I get it. Um, and I did not. Ooh, I think I'm going to switch one of these. And then, um, I think I'm going to switch both of these, actually, maybe. Yeah. Mm, no. Um, and so the, and so yeah, I didn't get it and I was really bummed. And then over the, over my actually break, cause we can't take any, if you work in retail, I don't know what's like in other retail stores, but I don't always, you can't take any vacation in November and December. Because it's like the seasonal period, it's probably like that in most retail places. Um, because, you know, we need a lot of people in the holiday season, um, you know, maybe stores that aren't as busy or during the holiday season, maybe it's different there, but I know definitely, and there we can't take any holiday, um, can't take any vacations, uh, during that time, so I always take it in the first full week of, um, well, not the first full week, but I usually take it, yeah, basically usually the first full week of january because that's when like we can and it's just like right after the holiday break so you get like a little break um right after the holiday right after it's been really busy and you've been like really working hard with all of your colleagues and stuff you know so it was on my vacation that i actually know well i already knew that one of the managers was um leaving again um and so i ended up i was debating whether i was gonna apply for that position or not um, and then I decided to, I decided to, um, go on, uh, um, on our internal system. There's a place, you know, when you already work at, um, usually when you already work at a company, and I'm probably, you guys all know this, you, you have to apply, obviously, you have to apply internally, um, because most of the, you know, it goes on a job board, um, a public job board, and, but most of the time there is an internal system where they post the jobs on an online um, you know, usually on an online system that the company uses, um, whether it's one of their own or whatever, and they usually post it there, and that's where you have to apply if you already work at the company. And so what I did was that I applied, was that I applied, I want washi tape, is there washi tape in here? I always have a quote. So I applied for the position of, um, I applied for the, uh, position of replenishing, bleh, I cannot speak, replenishment manager. Um, yeah, so I applied for that position and, um, I applied on the online system and I wasn't sure if I would get it or not, you know, my fifth application. Uh, but then I ended up getting it and I'm, I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time. You know, I think with anything, um, with any new, um, position that, um, you know, you apply for, it can be nerve wracking. Um, and it can, you know, it can make you like, be like, oh, am I actually going to get it or whatever. But I ended up, um, getting it. And I am nervous but excited at the same time. So yeah, that's the mega job news. Um, is this it's too over the line. Give me some. Nope. I'm trying to get this straight. So 
Well, this, so I was um, part time because basically, unless you're a manager, um, you're um, always like part time. It's like that probably at most places. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Maybe some places you can be um, a manager and not be. A, you can be just a regular uh, sales person at a store and be full time. But I, I think for most places that's not the case. Um, but again, I could be wrong. I have, so the places I've worked at before Michael's was I worked um, for a graphic designer out of her house and needed somebody because she was getting a lot of business and couldn't, you know, more. She it was more business than, um, you know, she could handle as a, you know, a solo person. Um, and so she, so I worked for her out of her house. And then on that one, I was like, like oh because i was still in school at the time and so um she needed somebody that was more um she needed somebody that was more full time like that could give more hours per week i couldn't being still in school um and so yeah that's what happened there um but and then after that i worked at so I didn't work for Costco, but I worked at Costco doing the food demos. It, I worked for the company CDS. They're responsible for the food demos at Costco. Um, and so that's what I did. And then after that, so basically it got shut down during COVID and then we came back. And then about two weeks after we came back from COVID at um, uh, CDS, that is when I um, got started and basically got the job got and started the job at Michael's. And I've been working there ever since. I actually really like Michael's. Um, I think it's a fun place to work um, when it comes to retail. Like I know, I feel like some places I feel like I wouldn't be good place working is um, like a hardware store and stuff. I find like it's interesting. You know, I'm not um, I'm not artistic in the way that you like. See, I my see at least I do something that is at Michael's. I remember in the interview like talking about. I think they asked me what I do like artistically or something, and I said my section is like Happy Planner. Um, that's like my section. Um, you know, I'm not. We do have some people that paint and some people that like crochet and knit and stuff but i would say like i'm not artistic in like the typical way um in the sense that like you know i don't paint i don't have drawing skills um you know i'm not like working at clay you know we sell a lot of cricket stuff if you have like a cricket machine um but i'm not uh, i don't do like any of that really i mean actually i probably could learn how to use a cricket machine but and i didn't actually buy one once because it was a really cheap price and i was gonna it was like a really cheap price because the packaging was in English and I live in a place where it has to be both French and English. And so it was at a really low price because we were trying to get rid of that one for the packaging. And I remember I bought it and I was going to try to resell it. And then I was like, maybe I could learn how to use the Cricut software, but I just didn't want to. Even though I, in, I, even though I know it's very easy for me as someone who, because I studied graphic design in college. And so for me, learning a new... Um, learning a new software isn't like super complex but it's still something that i'm not always like into doing you know and so i was like mm, i'm not really interested in trying to learn a whole new software i really like how the spread is turning out and honestly sometimes i don't write a lot in my bible journaling this is like for my bible journaling sometimes the only thing i write is literally the verse the chapter that i read so <laughs> I feel like I want like every thing to have a sticker. Yeah, so I like working at Michael's a lot. It's really, really fun. Um, 
long and this is a place that i recommend working at i i worked at cbs doing the food demos and that ended up not being for me i worked there like two years uh actually a little over two years and i could say it wasn't 100 percent my um something that like i saw myself doing forever um but then i started working out my goals and i really liked it and i've liked it ever since i like retail um i know a lot of people who work retail and say like oh i don't like you know people i'm not a fan of karens or things like that you know i honestly i like working retail i have no no issues with it i enjoy it i enjoy the customer the good the bad the in between be good quote that might be good for here for praise and prayer and maybe this one this one no it's not like a happy note all right So yeah, it's crazy. This July will make um, this July will make uh, four years I've been working at Michael's, and it's like bananas, bananas. Let's see. Is there something else I want to put here? Is there another thing of... I'm gonna find, I was like, I find it hilarious that this one's created and I realized because they took it out. This is the spread. I think it looks so fun. I can't wait to see it filled out. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. I love how this video is another video that's under 20 minutes. Sorry, I'm like so thirsty I'm trying to drink more water. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me at Planago Amy on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Um, you can message me on Instagram, a direct message if you have any planner questions. That's the best way for me to be able to answer them and sort of conversation with you. As you all know, the high quality photo of this spread will be on my Instagram. And that is all for this video. Until the next time, planner babes. Bye.